Why are you really gonna ask him this right now? He actually does not care. He actually does not care about this. I don't want to play English, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. He's really thinking about this. Just lay out. All right, man. Just lay out. Bro, what? are you trying to like psych him out before the match? No, I just wanted to know. Like you said, who else would this be? All right, it's Leo without the MK. That works for right, me. Well, I wish we still had MK. Not a night, Leo. But anyway, so Lumbre uh, almost beat his mark in winners correct so now he's like all right i'm in losers now look very beat my my mark it was fun while it lasted uh, it's, it's time <laughs> to pick the real swords exactly swords will in here with uh, lucina but you know this is the best of five and uh lumber is pretty good you just take out void mm -hmm. I, I i know lucina is much better than mark but i'm not gonna just completely count him out of the being Leo here. no know? not at all but the one thing too to notice also is how nest is really good against like swords in this game Compared to last game, last game Ness was like dominated against Swords. So it was definitely a matchup Ness really struggled with. But the way Lumbay is playing pretty well, I was like, okay, I know that I can if I get the combos on Lucina before she starts anything, things could slowly go into my game. But MK Leo is a no. master at edge guarding, and he really puts his man off stage. Yeah. Oh, but... excuse me. Hold on, that was an M and M. Yeah, yeah. He's really good at facing uh, the shield breaker. After you like press your shield a lot with the aerials, it locks you down in shield. Great edge guard before you can even hit himself with PK Thunder. Yeah, he's already out of there. Exactly. When oh, when Ness is forced to go for that low recovery, that's where he really suffers too a lot. Yeah. So it really just gave him Kaleo the entire stock. Yeah, it's just good to know too, because some people they try to edge guard that, but they do it too late, and then they just get hit by Ness's upbeat. Yeah, it's a really rough spot to be in. But Leo, you know, he has the matchup knowledge. Knows what he's doing with this character and this matchup so far. Yeah, and even in the meta game, right? Ness is in the character we definitely see probably not quite enough yet. You know, it's definitely a character that like still has has great representation. Ooh, get oh, out of here. excuse Dang, me. He caught that second place and just shut him down. See, that's the beauty of uh, Lucina compared to Mark. <laughs> like, you know, in Mark, he would have had to you know space that get a tipper if, if Smash probably killed like that. She says ladies first, man. That's Lucina. why she doesn't even need the tipper. Yeah, Lucina just slice you up. Good edge guard though from Moonberry, but he's he's got to he turn up a lot. MK Leo's looking mad comfortable. Oh yeah, hit him out of those jumps. Oh, oh excuse take me. It. Just take the hit. Man. Or actually, no, that's not good because you didn't take that at all. I couldn't tell if that it's, was. Like it's the, hard too because it gets the zoom in yeah, on the yeah, 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 Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either you the zoom in mess up your timing or you're just flat out untackable, so you just died. So, uh, I mean, you can call it a mini buff for Ness. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But um. Limbrick kind of in a rough spot here still. I would love to see him get some more momentum on his favor. Start pushing the Kaleo to the edge as so. I mean, you said it, man. Push his men to the, the ledge. He's pushing him all the way towards the edge with these forward airs. Yeah. Uh, pretty good positioning, too, because he gets the corner carry as one from one side of the stage to the other. If I were Lumbre, I'd really, really start to respect him Kaleo at 130% because that becomes a situation where, like, if I'm overcommitting here, MK Leo will definitely get me like that, right? Especially going for the ledge. It's not overcommitment. It's just the only situation, the only option you have left to go, especially being under. And like I said, right, if you're Ness, going that under yeah. on the stage is a big, big, big crime. Yeah, if only he, uh, I don't know, that was a really quick ledge trump, honestly. Yeah. It, it's pretty hard to react to that. If he knew he was going to ledge trump, he could have, like, buffered something faster and avoided getting back there there. Yeah. But... Lumbrae started off really strong, right? Like, he got the combos on Nkaleo, he got, you know, like, 80%, and then he literally brought it, like, to his stock. What came what comes down to Nkaleo is he's a player that when he loses this advantage, he aims to get advantage again and then just keep it. He never likes to be on the back foot. Yeah, it's very rare where I see Leo in a pressure situation for, like, an extended period of time, you know? And if he, if he is in that situation, you're, like, one of the best players, and yeah. you're probably going to win. But, uh... He right now, the he's it's the Jello Ness show. <laughs> <laughs> my guy, Lan, you hear those screams, man? It's like, ah. This man looks like the bowling ball. I'm sorry, he looks like the bouncing oh, ball at the beach ball at the uh, Dodger game. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> about the beach ball to the Dodger game, bro. bro. That's like, what he's looking people like. People in the crowd just waiting for Ness to bounce to them. but uh, <laughs> That's okay, what the crowd's in the background, bro. You see the hands up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Let me catch this Ness, too. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was really, that was really good because counter. the minute it connects to Ness, it does extend the, the hitbox, and then it definitely extends his hurt box. So the counter there was really on point. That was actually so smart for Leo. <laughs> My man Lumbre just, just. I really want to see him at least take a stock though, but so far he's working on it. Good parry. All right, let's see you next guy here from Lumbre. Nice. The oh mm -hmm. wow, call the lane with the other one. I wasn't expecting that. I was actually waiting for an up air, but that was like much better choice because it's way stronger. Yeah. And it has that front hitbox too that Lucina also doesn't understand. Like, okay, there's a front hitbox that will definitely scoop me up. 
Yeah, Lumbre's not doing too bad. I'm actually really impressed with Lumbre. You guys, he kind of like came really far <laughs> from like unranked. To yeah, what he's he, doing he right did. Now. And honestly, it's really big shout out to Razo. Uh, like Razo has kind of like picked up a couple people as his own students, and has kind of taught them enough. And yeah. Lumbre is definitely one of those students that have made a huge, huge standout. I mean. Your teacher can only teach you so much. The rest is up to you here, and the rest is all up to Lumber success. Bro, Good PK fire, because he almost had him at the ledge, and if it would have connected there, that would have been a great opportunity for Lumber to go for a down air. Did you see the grazing hit on the F-Smash tech chase from Leo from when he did the down tilt? Ooh. He actually should have died to that F-Smash. Yeah, he, he should have. <laughs> that was crazy. That man was blessed. Man, being, being the top player in the world, man, gives you blessings. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's frame, I think you leave it's frame one to three in the air and it's frame five on the ground. Uh, back to Smash 4. Oh, like, oh no. no. Not like no, this. not like that. Not like this, please. Not like this. You don't want to go out to the SD, man. Especially when you're playing so well. I feel like you're a lesser player, if they lose a game like that, kind of mess with their mentality going to the next game. Yeah, it, it does. It, when, you're, when you're that behind, too, it really gives you that mentality of like, oh, shoot, I just SD'd, you know, I just lost a lot of combos, I lost a lot of stuff. Like I said, Bloomberg started off really, really strong, but like I said, MKLeo, when he never likes to be in disadvantage for too long. You can tell in his play style, right? Like, he looks for the, uh, the move that'll bring him right back to advantage. Each time he got that upper in the last game, he knew that how much advantage he was gaining for each upper, and the fact that one of, ne one of the things Ness really struggles is landing. Because yeah. he has to go to the ledge, and being at the ledge can be really tough for Ness. Yeah, it's it's rough. Like, he has, like, the, his good air dodge and the side magnets to mix up, but it's really rough when you have to deal with the sword. Yeah. The, like, if you didn't have, a, like, a large hitbox to contest with, that could help his landing mix up a little bit, but... Yeah. Leo is kind of all over it. And I started off telling everybody on the match, right? Like, <laughs> Ness doesn't suffer the swords as much as often, but definitely MK Leo making me eat my words here, because he's definitely proving a point that, you know, Ness might still struggle with swords. Not as much as you used to, but still struggles. Not too bad here, though, from him, but keeping it pretty close. Yeah. He's getting a general understanding of, like, okay, I can now, oh, I'm telling you, each yeah. up air causes. Every time, every time I see these Lucina aerials and, like, Smash is killing, I just think, like, dang, he would have had a tipper for that to kill with <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love Bart so much. So now every time I see Leo. Buff this character, please. It's just like, Just dang, buff the that. character. Just buff the character. Like, I just thought oh, look at he's the not good enough. It's beautiful. I'm he's telling the you. platform extension as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leo's moving so well with Lucina right now. And each up air, I'm telling you, costs Lumbre a lot of stage control. He cannot go back towards center stage because he was getting hit by another upper, so he's forced to go to the ledge. Yep. This pushes MK Leo's advantage by a huge milestone and then pushes him to edge guard oh, like so. Oh, beautiful. Dude, he, like, dropped off with the drop zone fair perfectly when Lumbre used his jump. And like was forced in that lower diagonal Ooh. recover. Oh, oh Lumbre, please, no jumps. Please survive. This is free. I don't want free damage. <sighs> this is free damage. I love watching players who really know how to okay. take advantage of when their opponent has very few de defensive options. This like, damage was on sale. So percent. Yeah, this damage was on sale at the ninety nine cents store. Oh, dude, calm down. Oh, oh what are you doing? Well, excuse me. He, oh, he just punished this man damn. for existing. He just punished this man oh, for existing. <laughs> 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 They just laugh at all. What's going on? Lucia's not supposed to look cool. What she's, are you doing? She's not, but MK Leo, man, he knows what he, he knows what all he's right. doing. Hey, 